so here we are again at another bridge uh, I do love these rainy cold days because they are uh, no people are around but Zeus is here with me and his fur is kind of like a duck's he's got a double coat so the outside coat definitely gets wet but the inside coat stoat no goat the inside coat stays nice and nice and fluffy and dry so we're looking at a bridge here uh, that we're going to talk about and you should if you did yesterday's assignment recognize the type of bridge that it is so uh, if you haven't done yesterday's assignment on the 10 oldest bridges it was the third part of the assignment go ahead and do that and see what you what i'm talking about how this is the same type of bridge obviously this one's made of concrete and not just stone uh, or various other materials but uh, this one's got a lot of concrete and you can see I'm working on it. So this is uh, interesting because our next lesson, so our lesson on Wednesday is gonna be about bridge failure. So as bridge gets older, uh, what kind of maintenance do they require? And what goes wrong? Why do bridges sometimes fail? So here we are at the Port and Rain, uh, looking at a bridge. Let's try to get the whole scene here. All that noise is they are now working on this bridge. So kind of get to look through it all the way across. You know, I'm kind of excited about this unit. If I ever get to go on my road trip this summer, I'm gonna be stopping at lots of cool bridges. So this one's unique because of the type of bridge it is for nowadays. So uh, yeah, on we go. Hi class. So here is a picture of Zeus on the beach and uh, kind of got a bridge there, right? So a bridge can be made out of anything and wood in fact is a very common bridge material, uh, but it's not all they used back in the day before steel and um, concrete. A lot of bridges, as we'll see, were and if you've done your work so far this week, you'll see were made of things like stones. Um, so let's review our forces on a bridge again. There are two big forces, the compression forces. So compression is anytime things are smashed together. So it could be in this direction, could be in this direction if there were things smashing it together. But the reason there's compression right in the middle is think about it kind of bowing, a bridge kind of bending a little bit, then there's going to be a lot of forces pushing from both directions in the middle. So that can cause the bridge to buckle from that compression. But then if you look down at the bottom, if it begins to buckle, think about it, what's happening, the more it sags, the more tension. Tension is like a tug of war. So the forces are pulling in opposite direction and that can cause the bridge to crack on the bottom. So it might buckle on the top or crack on the bottom. So these are the kind of forces that bridges have to distribute some way. So here's our truss bridge we've talked about. Look about at all those triangles. And the idea is while this does add weight to the just the bridge like a plank bridge going across it also helps though to stabilize it and distribute forces so that all the forces aren't in just one area so that's one way to tackle making a bridge uh, here's another truss bridge and see all those beautiful triangles i hope you're seeing triangles everywhere but there's another shape that's also very, very strong. So here's me and Zeus out on a walk today. So this is a um, arch bridge in Bothell. And so this one is mostly made of wood, although it does use cable and steel and concrete and some of its structure. Um, so we, uh, you know, just were walking around and took some pictures of the bridge. So you're going to see all those triangles on the side look nice. Um, and you can kind of tell the arching down that is happening from the top of the bridge. So here we go down the other side. So not a very steep arch bridge, but it is an arch bridge. Those are a little bit harder to find, it seems like, most of the time. So here we go down. So here it is, a view of that same bridge we just went across. And you can see it's mostly wood, although we'll look in a few other pictures. Uh, you see cable up above. It's also using a trusses with the triangles. And here you can kind of see the view on the side of all the various triangles that actually go out uh, away from the bridge. 
and then there's actually cable holding it together and like I said some steel etc so here's another bridge in the Seattle area um, this is Cohen Park Bridge and you can see they're doing some construction on it and while there's a flat road on the top what's holding that up is this arched structure underneath uh, and so we're going to learn today how these arches work uh, so here's a picture a little bit further away and they were working on the bridge and so in the video you saw us walking and seeing the uh, people working it was pretty amazing but would make a fairly long and boring video if I showed it all to you uh, so today our goal is going to be to try to understand the arch as a strong shape and why it was used for bridges and how it works like how do these bridges stay standing for so long um, there's many many ancient bridges in rome and other countries uh, around the world that have been standing for a very long time because the arch bridge what it does is it's able to uh, really minimize those tensional forces there are compression forces but they're not many tension forces so you don't get the same sort of things happening uh, so just some pretty pictures i think probably arch bridges are some of my favorite as far as aesthetically they're just so beautiful um, of course cable bridges and suspension bridges are too so um, this is a modern day arch bridge but again uh, the concrete while it's made of concrete and not like stone that arch shape is acting very different than just a pillar bridge um, so that's what we're going to look at today you're going to watch a short little video on arched bridges and uh, answer a few questions and hopefully have a better understanding of how they stay standing uh, so here's another modern day arch bridge uh, this one is fairly ancient, but I forget the time. And then I wanted to end with a picture of a natural arch. So this is from Arches National Park in Utah. I've been there many times. However, I was not able to um, uh, go there and get you a live picture today with Zeus. So uh, it's a beautiful arch, but even in nature, which will be in our next unit, we'll be looking at earth science and natural landscapes. And arches are a very common uh, thing to see just because of their strong shape. 